In the following videos, I will show you more and more about my way of working with choirs in the rhythmic vocal music. The first one is rhythmical framework. So how can I make a frame, how can I develop the singers in a steady groove so that they are trained to have a steady pulse and sing rhythmic music. After that, I go to the rehearsal technique. I have two ways of rehearsal technique. The first one is the energized mode. In this energized mode, we speak the lyrics and we don't sing the, the music yet. In the third one, we will do that. In the fourth one, we have also called finalized, but it is about expression and interpretation. How can you deliver the music and the lyrics to the listener? On the fifth place, we have the group dynamics. It's standing at a fifth place, but it doesn't say it is really a fifth low place because the group dynamics are so important for each vocal group, actually I think for a lot of different groups, because it is important that the singer feels really comfortable with the other singers, but also know her and his own strength as a singer. In the sixth and the last topic, we're going to talk about training. How can you train your singers in the vocal music? It's also a nice way to make changes in your rehearsal planning. Maybe you first start with some rehearsal notes, uh, but then the energy of the singer will also go down. They get tired and uh, yeah, maybe it takes already a half an hour. And it's nice that with this method we can go to another work format, like maybe training some intonation. And in that way we can make some small changes in our rehearsal technique. In the chapter Rhythmical Framework, we're mostly working in getting a steady pulse. And the steady pulse must be connected to the underbody and the upper body. So I will train the singers in feeling the groove, be active with your whole body, but keep the tempo in the right way. So it doesn't matter if we have a slow song like pa 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 or that we maybe have it doesn't matter but it is important that this count is straight and that everybody feels the same pulse in the second chapter we're going to talk about rehearsal technique and this is a special technique because it's called the energize mode in this energize mode we take off the pitch so when we are singing we are the world we are the children we take off the pictures and then we only have left we are the world we are the children so it's spoken and what you can actually do with this mode is you can really check all the singers if they have the right rhythms so if someone is doing, we are the world, and the other one is doing, we are the world, you can directly hear, ah, it's not in sync. And if we want to sing in the choir, it's of course important that we have these two parts together. So the focus could be rhythmic, uh, are correct with each other. Something else can be important is the underlying groove, the same for every singer. If we feel, we are the world's we are the chill, or maybe somebody else feels, we are the world's or maybe somebody else is feeling, we are the world, we are the chill. It is a total different feel and it's important that we all have the same underlying groove. What we also can check up is pronunciation. How do we say the words in English, in this case English? If somebody is singing, we are the world, we are the children, and somebody else is doing, we are the world, we are the children, then you hear directly the differences in the way of saying it. And also in this mode, we can really listen to, is the pronunciation the same? Something else could be the rhythmical phrasing. 
We are the world. Or, we are the world. It is the way of phrasing. Do we sing world? Or do we sing world? Then it's a little bit more blurry where the note goes to. It's important to feel where the note is going to. Another topic can be where do we start and end? We are the world or we are the world. We are the world. You really hear the difference in the worlds. That difference is also important to find out. The last one is how is the energy of the things? Also in this rehearsal mode we can check that because when we have we are the world or we are the world it's a total different energy in we are the or we are the world so you can check up if every singer is in the same energy level in the rehearsal technique where we sing it's mostly important we have already done the rhythms so now we can focus on pitch and intonation are we singing we are the world but maybe there are some singers who sing we are the world a little bit out of tune so we can actually help our singers a little bit better because we know the rhythms are right but now we want to focus on intonation in the fourth chapter we're going to talk about expression and interpretation I mean with that is how can you really give the lyrics some content for the listener we all know these singers from television and we also say that singer touches me that is really a nice and good singer because when she sings I really get the chills I get the feeling with the music but there are also singers who are maybe really well trained but you think ah, it doesn't do me so much one of the things can be that the expression is not how you actually would like to have it with these exercises you can give your choir a little bit more experience in how to sing a song and how to deliver the lyrics to the audience in topic 5 we're going to talk about the group dynamics how can we make the group so comfortable that they will sing in full energy even when they sing soft it is important for them to feel comfortable with each other I have different exercises where I shake up the group a little bit but also to let them know each other a bit better what I accomplish after a session with that is that they know yeah we are here together and we want to sing this song and I feel fine for me as a singer instead of um, what uh, should I sing now and uh, do I do it right is my intonation good and uh, uh, who are you we want to get rid of that feeling but really have a group together like yeah we're going to sing in this choir in the last chapter we're going to talk about training how can we guide our choir singers and help them a little bit more to develop their voice and their creativity something could be our voice use if we are singing we are the world or we sing we are the world it sounds totally different but it is important to talk with your singers about which sound are we going to use it is really difficult to say you a little bit more eh, you a little bit more ho oh, and you a little bit more eh, and then together and it doesn't sound so what be what could be very useful is to have this exercise where you have to listen to your neighbor so that you will automatically change to the right sound for your voice group Thank you.